Okay, hey guys, so after you open it, I've just put this in Windows mode by pressing Alt Enter just for simplicity and easier to start it up when you're first making a server. So you should be like this. You can click play online if you want. This comes up with that, level 17. I had to restart a couple of times. But yeah, you should have two ones. One that says IW4, which is the server, and one that says AIW, which is for the game. But at the start, just type in connect, and then paste in your IP address that you got from here, the external IP or something. And it should just start up like usual. Yeah, I've got fraps on, can't be bothered using it. Create a class, you can play normally, you can kill yourself, you can do whatever. So yeah, that works. And what you can do is you can use this to change things. So if I go SCR war, which I think is which is TD TDM, I think that's what I'm on at the moment. And if I go time limit zero, the time limit's gone. So if you see down here, there was a time limit, and now there's not one. So you can modify the server with this, but I'll show you a program I prefer at the end. But at the moment, I'll show you how to get the mod. The mod, so you go to where you have the mod, which is in the mods file, and we're going to be using, where is it? There, I'm a bit blind. There, roll the dice three. So what you do is you go here, you type in fs underscore game space mods, which is the folder that you're in, slash the one that goes from top right to top bottom left. I'm not sure if it's forward or back, sorry. And you just type in the exact words that is in the folder you want. So here, roll the dice three. Roll the dice and you just press enter then you go map restart with that underscore in between and it looks like someone's joined our server so I'll just have a quick look yes someone's joined our server so we can play with him for a little bit and I'll show you So as you saw when I sp when I started, there was a here. I've got 106, which is what I rolled, and Ninja. So they're just like little perks that you get. So I think Ninja means that no one can hear you. It's just like having Ninja Pro or whatever. And you can still it's just a normal game. Oh crap! No, oh, I tried to do a 360, but that didn't work. And see now I'm on fire. So if you look at my character. I'll show you in the kill cam. I'll be on fire. And if you walk too close to people, they start taking damage. So if you see, I'm on fire. Right there. And when I started getting close to him, he started burning up. And then you get pro pipe, which if you press 2, you pull out the pro pipe and you just have all these noob tubes. So... I'll just give you a little bit of a demonstration with more in-game footage. I've got some footage of the Chuck Norris perk, and that's just godly. You pretty much can't die except for air support, and you can disable the air support killstreak, so you're godly, because whenever anyone hits you, you teleport behind them, whenever you shoot, you freeze people, and you have an AC-130 strike. At the moment, he's got wall of fire, so missiles will come down wherever he's walking, and they don't hurt himself, explosions don't hurt him as you can see, but all the, wherever he stands, you get all these explosions coming down, which is kind of cool, and you can't die by them, which is even better. So I'll die here just to give you some more examples. We've got another person joined. Now this is pretty lame for my server, I normally have maxed out by this time, 
but you should too eventually. So I need to go find that guy so I can... That one's got the exorcist, exorcist or whatever it was, how he's crawling along the ground. It looks really crap, but on the actual screen it actually isn't too bad. Now where is that guy? Oh, he's not here. So I'll just change team. I might have to go soon, but this is how you do it. So I've got extra speed now. And people can join your server as you've been seeing, so I hope you enjoyed this. And I might give you some more footage depending on how long the video is. This might have to be split up into two parts, and I'm sorry if that happened, but it's a tutorial ne nevertheless. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it, so if it's anything's unclear you can ask me and I might even make a new video especially for you. This one was for a friend Sam Hughes or something. He's not really a friend but an online friend and any friend of mine online or not is my friend. So yeah, I'll, I'll just get out of this and I'll show you this tool that I have before I go. So yeah, we don't need that open. <laughs> Sorry about that hesitation. So COD Archon tool. You can find that simply if I get out of Facebook. Sorry about that. I had a bit of time waiting for things to render out in the last video. So just Google COD Archon tool. The first one, www.cod hyphen archon tool dot com and you should come up with something like this let's go downloads I downloaded the 12 version 12 beta you can download the 11.3.1 or whatever one is there at the time of your thing and I don't think I showed you how to get the mod so I'll show you that quickly I've made the zip file for you just so you can get all the mods that I've got. I'll give you the link for this. And, oh crap, that's my old one. I closed it. Sorry. So, in where the server is, you go to mods. No. There should be a folder called mods, all lowercase m-o-d-s, but if you don't create one, and just extract everything I've got in there. And then say you wanted to run, I don't know, I snipe. I know I've got that, I snipe. You just do the same thing as you did last time. FS underscore game mods slash I snipe. And then you can go semicolon map underscore restart, or you can just do what I do and put it in the line after, but that all works fine and it should come up with restarting it yeah so if I was now to join it it would now have the ice night game on it so that's that and the cod archon tool sorry if this is hard to follow but I kind of forgot to do things because I remembered last time I remembered doing it last time so here what you need to do in this you need to copy out the IP address here the port here and you can just put whatever you want here I normally like putting admin you type here RCON underscore password space and then you type in your password. So I'm just going to put 12345. Then you go here and you type in 12345 and you press the tick up the top, which is to connect to the server. It'll give you all the details and it'll come up with this down here saying it's connected. From here you can change the map, so I want to go on underpass now. So you change it to underpass and it ends the current game and takes you to underpass. Under general. Server name, you can change that to whatever. Number of slots. Max ping, all these kind of things. I'm not sure what that's for. Mod, mod D. I've never used it and allowed downloads, all this stuff I haven't used. And you have to press supply before you press OK. So as you see, it comes out here with the information you typed and also out here. And you'll see it says Handled Archon. So this is just a remote control tool, so you don't have to be 
the same place as running the server to actually have this working. You've got settings, which is like the friendly fire, the team killer suicide, all that kind of stuff. Not sure what hard points are. I think that's just kill streaks. I'm pretty sure that's kill streaks. So you can enable or disable it. Yeah, that's kill streaks. So now it's disabled. If you click on maps, you have some loading time. Just go map rotation. This is the way I like to do map rotation. You can choose anything you like. They've got global thermonuclear war, which is one of the game modes that Infinity Board never brought out. So you can click on it and just click this double arrow to move everything over. And then you get that and you go set rotation. It should come up with that, something along the lines of that. And here it will say SV map rotation. You can change game types and limits. So like global thermonuclear war, score limit zero means that it doesn't matter what score you get, it's always gonna go. Zero, always gonna go. So that way you have to get the nuke to win. There's no score limit of like ten thousand points. And you can just press apply and it'll go through a lot of other things, but don't worry about them. Just make sure that you let it load. Well you have to. And you press OK. You can close this and the server's still going to run exactly the same as you did. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on my server since you have my IP address now.